Let's head him up. Woo! Catch him all fishing with Zach. Look at this fish. Head him up. Guys, we're out here. We're doing an update, a special update. I have not been doing anything but treating this fish for a solid week, week and a half, yeah. guys. I've been doing a little bit of relaxing because you can't do so much, but I have isolated this fish multiple times. I've done the same thing that I did in that video, yeah. maybe four different times, guys. I've really been paying attention to this fish. I have not been doing anything else, not fishing anything, but trying to treat this fish, and it's finally working. It's getting better. Paying off, guys. Catch him bay, amazing. She's taking a little nap right now yeah, because yeah. we were up all night talking. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wild Water Folly and I are going to do something very special today. It turns out that this fish is getting so healthy, it's starting to bully the other fish. And not really bully as much as dominate. Oh, you come oh. right around here. Yeah, check him out. Yeah, he's right there. The big boy. Straight down, straight down. Can you guys see him through that glare? He's going to turn around for you. He's coming. Come on. He's gone. It's still there. Definitely some of the damage is still there, but if you noticed before how damaged that thing was, it was literally disgusting. Yeah. It has the fungus still on it, but the wounds have shrunken very, very significantly. They're a lot smaller, a lot smaller. We probably treated it, I think, four to five times the same way we did it before in the past week and a half. He's actually breathing, he's swimming, he hasn't eaten yet, I haven't seen that, which is the ultimate sign that a fish is getting better, but that fish is doing great. He's actually making the other Paku uncomfortable because he's dominating them. He's a huge fish. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that fish and isolate it again for another week inside our other pond. Now, it's a lot smaller and it's a very, very, very large fish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him out, put him in that isolated pond, but I do not wanna damage his scales any more than I have. We've been using a net and that like rips off the scaling, right? And then it, it heals back, it heals back, it rips it off, it heals back. But we don't need to do that anymore because as you guys can see right here, this guy is doing very, very well at this point in time. Hey baby, how he doing? Uh, he's sexy. I know, before his watching. tail was completely ripped off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but what Wild Water and Farley and I are gonna do today is we're gonna try to just push this Paku into this very large bag so we don't miss any of the scales. We don't wanna mess up any of the scales at all. We're gonna try to just get them in here. It's gonna be really, really tough to do. We're gonna have to show some serious teamwork. I'm telling you, we've been with each other since fifth grade. Yeah, so yeah. if anyone's gonna be a good team, it's gonna be us. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bag, jump into the pond, and Farley's gonna try to push this fish towards me into this bag. We're gonna remove him in the bag okay. and take him to the smaller, more isolated pond to give him further treatment. Oh yeah, big boy. He knows oh, he what's knows. going down, I know. All right, Paulie, so grab that net and extend it. Yeah, Boom, yeah. perfect. I'm gonna jump in right now. And uh, Timmy, you just show the viewers at home what we're doing, and if we do die, at least what? they know we tried our best. <laughs> he broke the last net, right. so we don't want him to get in that net. We just want to use that net mm -hmm. to spook him into this bag. Okay, it's I gonna be you. really, really tough to do. Guys, so believe we can achieve. If we believe, we can achieve. All right, all the fish are starting to move to that side. Watch out, Red Watch out, yeah, that's a big red side. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big pancake right there. Yeah. Oh, God. Ooh. All right. Oh my god, he's right here behind you. Know, he's right behind you. I know. But I want to get away from the red tails because as you guys know, red tails have huge knives as their pectoral fins. What I'm going to do here is I need you to get this guy in here, Paul. It's going to be really tough. I'm going to try to move him over here. Look at King Paku. He has no he fear. Going we on. have yeah. yeah, we have a really good relationship, that fish and I. <laughs> like literally, I can pet this thing all day. Here's the big one. Here's the big one. All right, Farley. All right, so why don't you try to herd him over there towards the sunlight, maybe? This is gonna be really tough because this bag floats as well. Oh. oh my God, he's going sideways. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. He's running the sunlight. Is that long enough for you? I'm all out of pole. Okay, this is gonna be so hard to do. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, you're doing good, you're doing good. Push him, oh, keep, keep going, keep going. Oh my, he's trying oh to go God. inside. Okay, real. Oh my God, come on, hold on. Try to scale a little bit. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay he's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Hold on, hold on. Whoa! Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, almost, nice I almost had him with my hand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get a lot more water in here. I'm gonna try to lift him and put him in the bag. I think that'd be a better idea. Because this bag floats so much. He's right over there, he's right over there. I'm gonna try okay. to make him turn. Come on, turn, baby, turn. Turn, baby, turn. Okay, that's good. Okay, here he is, here he is, Farley. Okay. okay. 
The bag floats. The bag floats. Okay. But I made it's a lot full more water. difficult. That it's gonna be really hard because it's gonna be really heavy. Just keep them over there. Keep them over there. This way. This You're way. You're doing good. Yeah. Just keep them over there. Keep them over there, and I'm just gonna try to lift them and quickly put them in this bag. So try to push them towards that end, so the viewers can see this at home. Perfect. 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 Just keep them over there. It's okay to touch them. Yeah. We just don't want them to like be stuck in that net. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. But if he goes head first in that net, he's, it's not going to do too much damage to him. But it's more the tail that's affected. You. you know what I'm saying? I see that. I see that. Yeah. If, he, if this guy head butts me, he could literally knock the wind out of me, and I'll be toast. Okay. There I think I, I got the head. I got the head. Me, push him towards me. I'm trying. I'm trying. Nice, I'm trying. And, nice and slow okay. though. Nice and slow. Okay. Okay. Nice and slow. This okay. is a giant. Oh. Yeah. We don't want to piss him off. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that is nasty. Okay. Ready? Right, just right. gonna try to do a quick little transfer. Okay, okay. As you guys can see, he's getting a lot better. Check that out. Zoom into that skin. Oh. It's a lot better than, than what we saw before, for sure, for sure. You do not want to damage the fins. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, ready? I'm ready. I want you to pull the net towards it. Good? Good? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, I, almost I'm almost I almost had him. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. Ah, okay, he's going. Oh, no, he's not. Ah, dang it. Round two, guys. Keep pushing him this way. Looking good. Oh, oh you okay, stole marijuana. marijuana. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's smart. Perfect. Got Perfect. him. Perfect. Lead him this way. I'm going to let him lead me. Yeah. He's going to break his neck. Well, I need to oh, oh, my God. my God. Okay. Okay, he's still doing good. We have his head covered. Okay, turn, turn it. I'm gonna try to just put it, put him in here. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Let him swing. Oh, okay. come on, get in there. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay. 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 Perfect. Oh. You can get that net out. What net? <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay. Now, yeah, flip him right side up. Got that. Boom. All right, cool. We got a well, nice about. way to go while I went to Farley. Now, I'm zipping this up. I have the fish in here, guys. And I'm literally pushing all the air out and putting more water in. All right, cool. All right, he's covering completely. So now, we have our giant fish inside this bag. So what we're gonna go ahead, leave that here. We need to get this whole thing out. Yeah. So guys, again, I keep stressing about the gym. Check out the size of this bag. <laughs> the fish is in here. Full of water. On top of that, there's a 40 pound fish in here. That's so insane. between you and I, yeah. are you ready? I guess. Okay. As ready as I'm gonna be. I'm gonna lift this, and then you gotta lift it back over there. Just drop okay. it on the ground, okay. nice and slow. Ready? Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> God, it's gonna take two people. <laughs> Nice. Holy right, strong. <laughs> Boy, it's super cold, guys. All the fish are slowing down, so it's really good for that fish to heal up. Let's go, baby. We're taking this guy, we're putting him right in the truck. We're gonna take him out back at the house and wish us luck. Hopefully this coffee does perfectly fine and we can isolate it in the smaller pond. All right, guys, here we are. The Paku is in here. The water stays in here. I, I don't know who makes this bag. I think it's Madfish. I've had this bag for a very long time. I've used it for a lot of different animals, including Paku before. This is an amazing bag. I love this thing. We're going to take this thing and bring it in the back, analyze this fish really quick, and get this thing into some healthier conditions. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. All righty, all righty, all righty, guys. So oh, we have this out. massive Paku. We're going to look at him one more time all together guys so you guys can see the difference of what he looked like before and what he looks like now after a couple treatments with that metal fix let's go ahead and take him we're just going to put him in the shallow water spot for just a moment check him out and then take him put him in that deeper pond all this is connected to the lake behind us right here which we all know has paku in it we've caught baby paku in it we've seen larger paku in it there's a lot of paku in this lake so what we're going to do here is put it right inside that pond after we check him out let's do it right now all right all right, guys. Thank you, Farley. Wow. Look at the size of that thing. That thing is crazy. Oh my God, it smells so bad though with the wounds. Woo! That's a bad one. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do now is I am just going to lift this bad boy up, place him right behind me. I don't wanna mess up his tail too much. 
Wow! God! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Ah. My finger almost went in his mouth. Got a little bit of sunlight right here. Wow. Come here, buddy. Come here. I know. So check this out, guys. You saw the damage before to him. Now check out the difference with that Melifix. Huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Ah! It's a huge, huge difference. Massive. But I just wanted you guys to see, especially this tail. Check out the tail. Zoom in on the tail. Huge difference. Huge, massive difference. So this guy's doing very well. Whew. I'm happy to see the fish is doing really well. I'm gonna go ahead and keep him in here for a while. And I think I'm actually gonna have to return him because inside that pond, it was such a great community and it still is. I don't want this massive fish destroying my community of fish that's already established. And I did not catch this fish. My friend Chris Fishes did. He has that video on his YouTube channel. I've already shown that before when we originally got this fish when Wild Water Father helped us out with that. So I just wanted you guys to see the differences of those scarring. All this is healed up completely completely healed up this is still a little funky but it's okay it's getting better and better and that's what we want to see guys i hope you enjoy this episode see how this park is doing on future episodes we're going to go ahead and find a nice home for him isolate a pond let this thing finish up healing he's doing absolutely wonderful much much better as you guys can see much much better that mellow fix is quite the trick guys stay tuned for the next episode we're going to jump in the water and try to train these carp to eat out of our hands guys <laughs> yeah stay tuned and catch them all catch them all Woo! catch them all